When new business owners first start looking to getting creative help to build the brand that they need to succeed, they're often surprised by how much creative businesses charge. You what, mate? Like, are you serious? I'm literally only paying you like for a couple of hours to run around and like pew pew with your camera. No thanks to your clients. It seems like a lot of money. They think that it goes straight into your pocket and then you're out splashing the cash all day. You know that's not the case. It's not enough to sustain your business, to sustain yourself, to sustain your future. Why would your potential clients know this? If they've never worked with freelancers before, and this is their first time. No one's ever explained to them what goes on behind the scenes in their business. I wanna to explain to you the untold truths that go into running a freelance business, and I can assure you it is a real tip of the iceberg moment. So I've split the costs that are involved into three different types. Number one, things people recognize they're paying you for. Number two, the additional things that you need to do to get that work done. And then number three, things that you need to keep you and your business alive. To kick things off, everyone understands this. This is the time that you spend actually shooting. Boom, easy. We then have time spent editing and hopefully snacks. So the challenge that freelancers have is that clients think that they're paying you for just these three things. However, you need to make sure that the rest of the items listed in this video are accounted for in your business. Section two, additional things that you need to get things done. So everyone thinks that you have an expensive camera, therefore you can just use that. Well, yeah, but like, where did that money come from? I've bought stuff out of my business's money so we can produce higher quality content. If you think Photoshop runs well on any old computer and it doesn't make you just wanna smash your head through your keyboard, um, then you're wrong. It is important to have computers that run fast so we can deliver the content on time and we can also be in the creative flow, which allows you to create better stuff. There's also subscriptions of the services we need on those computers. So we've got Lightroom, Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, we've got music licensing, we've got web hosting, and we've got file transfer. Finally, the most boring thing of them all, data storage. We need to be able to have SD cards to capture the content. We need to have hard drives and SSDs to be able to process and store that data. We also need to back it up. And I don't know whether anyone who's watching this has recently looked up the cost of hard drives and SSDs. They're a lot of money and they fill up quick. We're now on to the other parts of a creative business that help you stay alive. Firstly, in this section, there's the personal money that you need to survive. So we've got rent, we've got food, and we've got PlayStation Plus money. I would also like to save a bit of money, maybe buy a one bed studio flat for me and my family to live in like an edgy part of London, maybe? As a creative business owner, you also don't get a pension. So how are you gonna say, set yourself up for later in life? And then we get into more, I guess like wishy-washy, how do you quantify the price of this? You can't really but it's something that every creative business owner needs to do. What's quite different to a lot of other jobs is that we have to spend a lot of time doing things without getting financially rewarded. And anyone that's a freelancer or a consultant will, will understand this pain, that we have to spend such a considerable amount of time honing in our skills and our craft to then be able to charge that extra money. It's, it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation. The better you are, the more you can charge because of the output's better, but you also need to be able to charge enough so you can live, so you can also spend the time to get better. It's complex. This also includes time spent on your marketing, reaching out to people, developing your website, building proposals, talking to clients that fall through. We also have pre-production time. So this is time that we spend strategizing, discussing messages, understanding the mood, the feel, the vibe that you want to create. All these different things that we need to do beforehand to make sure the shoot is a success. So I hope that that gives you an insight into what goes into building a creative business and that when you're working with someone, you're not purely paying them just for their time. There's so much more that goes into it. And maybe even inspiring other freelancers and creative business owners to really start thinking about their business and the costs that are involved. If you found this useful, please feel free to like and subscribe or comment down below and hope that you have a fantastic March or whenever you're watching this video. Peace.